Hi friends. So again, getting back to f from where we had left, I did don't want to make my videos long, so I, I wanted to cut that out. So, so the first video on on this was about building the model for the data. The second video was how I used the same uh, scripts or, or, or used the same script and incorporated that within the development environment of Microsoft Microsoft Azure Machine Learning Experimentation Service, along with the integrated Microsoft's um, Azure Machine Learning. Uh, workbench so this is this was the code uh, and this that's where we stopped uh, we had created the train uh, the score and the corner dependency files so that's that's uh, ready for us to to start now once we have built this the next part is to understand how the model management works so uh, okay before I jump on here you would see two services so what we have done is an experimentation service we have used this basically and we have uh, uh, used integrated this and, and worked with uh, the uh, the uh, workbench and, and uh, created our model the next part is the model management so you would also need a model management service to be installed on your Azure or to be provisioned on your Azure should I say that uh, the next important thing is how does your model basically I mean scale out so so let's just understand this it's it's really important here so you you do your scoring uh, and then you have a train model just so the train dot python file actually created the the trained AI model that's all we needed from the train model here then we had the score python file and then the score python file also created a schema dot json those were the three inputs that we needed to the to the Azure machine learning model management so we have provisioned that and then how it works like uh, and, and the fourth part was the conda dependencies uh, where, where we mentioned the packages which were required so to go back to my last video if you have just if you have, if you have doubts basically I'm explaining each and every aspect here uh, we have worked with Keras we have saved the model in h5 dot h5 and we are now trying to operationalize it so so we have the score Python uh, we have the train model, the JSON, the corner dependencies where we have added the Keras, the uh, pandas, and the TensorFlows, which we need as, as an environment. The next steps would be to create, to register your model, to create a manifest, to create an image on the Docker, and then to create a service. So those will be the steps. So we'll define a runtime, which is Python. We will define, we create the registry, the image. Uh, basically the manifest the image and the final model uh, and the final model can be created in two ways a local mode uh, and uh, Azure Container Services ACS uh, Kubernetes uh, cluster mode so we'll, we'll see how we can do that but this diagram is just the gist of it it's will do we have been doing and we'll just follow this in detail step by step nothing better than this so we have we are done with the score the model, the JSON, the conda, the runtime. So now let's not let's take a look at how we can do the rest of it. Okay, so let's get started. So first things first, we will have to basically create our local runtime. So the first important thing is okay as a de as developers, we will have to basically. So I I have all the commands mentioned here. I'll, I'll go over them. Um, one at a time but before that there's an important thing that you need to add so your model will, will fail if you do, do do not do this so you'll need a docker installation go to the site install your docker uh, register yourself and install this before installing you'll have to check for something which is really important here so just check your machine and check for the virtualization if it is enabled or not if it is not you would have to enable the virtualization mode to be able to install and run docker that's important so yeah you would need docker because in local mode you would need the docker image to be built okay that's one the second important thing is which I found out and it's really important and it's kind of missed is your subscription so let's say I just click on any of these the subscription that you use uh, let's say I'm using Visual Studio you would have to go and look at the service providers 
and unless you do that in this service providers you will have to basically just see that all of these three services have been enabled or not so just check if these are registered or not so basically it's it gives you a step by step but you would have to check the classic storage operation insights storage uh, all of these are registered or not this this link will help you out but yeah it was a big help uh, so you would have to get them enabled and registered that's two the docker the registration and the second important part is your large files in case you're working with large file you'll get get a large file alert so, so let's say if to the cur currently in preview mode your maximum limit is 25 MBs so if you which is your model size so what I mean is if your model and the all the files here in the default directory that is your h5 model and the other files in the default directory exceed the limit of 25 MBs you will get an error okay now how this error would look like I would show you because I have a first-hand experience in that so you would get uh, an error saying th the, the, the I would okay I'm not sure if I, if I captured the screenshot but yeah you you'll, you'll get the size error exceeded yeah you can see here so your total size is this much which exceeds about a limit of 25 MB so you will get this error and you'll not be able to run any further so in that case the advice is to create all those files in the input in, in the output directory so by default if you create all these all the, the, the large files or remove them or create them here you should be good to be able to run your models so I mean uh, and do the do the operationalization so, so that's that's one point a very important one and the next is let's look at the commands so yeah we have configured a model management so you would have to AZ so you will use the CLIs the CLIs can be right you know just created or, or run right here so if you see here I have run some of the CLIs here right so yeah all of the CLIs can be run right here you would have to AZ account model management set so so first is you're creating so to use an existing model management I have already an existing model management so I will just use that and and to use that I'll do a set before that you'll have to do AZ login to just login into, into your Azure account to set up a new model management I've given all the uh, all the CLI um, commands so you'll have to cre create that we give give your Azure region your uh, account name and your resource groups and, and then you can start so after that the next important step is your two ways so as I said you will have two ways to do your to do your deployments so the one is, is the local mode and the other is a cluster mode so let's say the cluster mode is yeah of course you'll have to have some money in your Azure account to be able to do that um, and and um, because that will create create a machine on ACS and Kubernetes and, and, and that will be uh, directly deployed onto your Azure and an API will be created so yeah of course we can use that but uh, but for local development you can go with the local mode you can set up this is the command to set up your local mode uh, basically uh, and uh, you will just to do a show of, of it's been created and then you need to set the environment after the creation you need to set the the model deployment to local uh, alternatively you can do that this is the command for for uh, your cluster mode again a catch here if you're doing a cluster mode do not go with the four there, 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 may, there may be an error so because the default value is three and it takes uh, based on the number of seats that you have provisioned in your Azure um, just just go with the initial one just go with the three for for now and and then environment is SDS cluster data science you would just set that once the environment is set the next command uh, is will be to register your model so the register your model you'll, you'll it will be three steps so basically you register your model you create your manifest create image and set up the service so there's one command directly which we can which can uh, you know get you through all of them uh, and that is this one it's just this one command now but this is a very important one so let's take a look so the first you s you just say azure az ml service create uh, real time and you pass on the scope file the model you pass on the model file that's the h5 
and then you fire and then you pass on the schema service the JSON the service and then you pass on the product that's that's the name of the service that I'm going to create um, the Python uh, and, and then the runtime environment so if you see here again going back to the image if you see here we gave the the score file the model the JSON schema file the conda dependencies and the runtime to create all of this we are using this environment we're declaring this first and then we are going to do this excellent so isn't it it's all making sense so the and we'll say collect model data to true and then we'll pass the configuration there is an additional thing you can do a hyphen D and and set up all your dependencies so if you have certain files which are required during during uh, your model operationalization you would just do a hyphen D and, and mention all those currently for this example I do not so and then alternatively you can do each of them step by step as well so you can go to you can basically create register your model you can create a manifest create an image set up a service each one at a time so like like this example this is wherein I have created use the image ID and then I have created the real-time um, you know the, the service here so example is is all of it, all of the code is here right now so basically you'll just have to use this um, now using this service you can uh, use this this service once the service is done basically if you see here uh, I'll just walk you through in the terminal window that's what I was I was just doing here so if this is this is the entire command for for creating so so if you see here you just deleted one if it has s successfully registered a model it returns a, a model ID and then it uses the service schema creates a manifest then creates an image and then basically it uses my docker container to create the final uh, uh, basically that's the service here so that's that's the service created and then it gives gives me a, a, a way to use the the service runtime so this is currently in the local mode so perfect so let's see so our, our model is ready so so now the service is registered I'm calling it product app but before going and running this let's also take a look at the model management if I go on to Azure you will see all of these tabs each of these tabs have a meaning and I've already been talking about it all this while so we have we have the model registered first this is the default that comes in when you when you provision it there are four versions of the model you can version it beautifully it, it gives you all the time that I've worked on with then you have the manifest all of the manifests then you have the image created all the images and it says the docker succeeded and, and the environment is DS local that's that's a local runtime uh, since it's a local one you wouldn't have a service right now here because my service is running on the local uh, docker instance so so uh, if I have a cluster environment and I try to use that on Azure I'll find a service right here never mind I'm good with this right now I don't have a lot of money here on the Azure so <laughs> yeah I'm good with this perfect so now let's check this so my AZML service runtime is using the product app and this is my input DF I'm going to give some of the input values for time spent of on web and time spent on on page product page let's see the predictions so it's going to hit the service and return this value perfect so okay let's just try to make some changes here and see are we getting it all good So it's working it's working reasonably well so um, so the service is predicting the, 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 the values and yeah the, the product it's, it's predicting the, the product basically yeah so yeah we're good here um, I think I think that's that's all of the important catches so uh, I think you so this was a local mode right now what you saw was a local mode of operationalization the next and, and the last leap would be once you're done with the development you would want to provision this into a cluster and run it on the ACS Kubernetes uh, and you would need you would need that API on the Azure to be used and accessed right there by everyone once you do that you'll find a service here and then you can use it for for your you know your APIs or your or, or your requ request response scoring so I think yeah that's really important and what you've seen is really uh, 
it, uh, the work which where, wherein you have uh, have used a deep neural net um, on Keras. So that's and the entire code is right there on, on the repo here for you. So do play with it and, and f leave your feedback. I, I, I thought this was really important to share with all of you. Uh, and I hope you'll appreciate all the hard work. Thank you so much.